Hi folks, we got a pretty fun topic, if you want to call it a huge topic, as we're going to show you how to do something like a camera zoom in OBS Studio. Now I know there's a million ways to do it, so there's no wrong way or right way, but I'm going to show you how I set mine up so I can have it linked into Lorian board so I can do something as simple as a button click or maybe even a, a stream deck click on my phone or something as simple as maybe even channel point redemptions or a sub redemption. Whatever you want to do to make this trigger, that's the great thing about Lorian board. I can't speak about it enough and it's a pretty simple process. So I'll show you how to do that today on the video. Let's get started. Hi folks, welcome to our YouTube series. Here we take a look at anything we can do to help your stream stand out and make it look unique. I am your stream champ, The Argument Mock. Help me out with a little bit of follow love on this channel, this video, sub to it, share it, and help each other share all the fun stuff. That's what it's all about. Um, if you haven't done so already as well, I stream quite regularly on Twitch. I love the platform. It's amazing, and um, the community has been great. So yeah, come check me out live. If you see me there, you're welcome to jump in, ask some questions, or even game with me. It's all good stuff. Also, real quick, I do want to mention that we uh, put a spot in our community Discord, the Friendly Fire Gaming Crew, for any sort of tech-related questions. So if I can't get to you live, you can jump in there and ask, hey, Arg, I'm having problems with this, that, the other, or what are your thoughts about this, that, or the other? That's the whole point of it. We're trying to improve each other's streams and make each other look great. So with that said, let's jump into OBS and let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, um, I'm not going to lie. You can need a couple things to set up first for you. We're going to be using the Move Source plugin for this. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with a new Motion Move Source plugin, then I'll link that video as well down in the descriptions. You need to install that plugin, kind of get a little bit familiar with it. And then a little bit in a second here, I'm going to actually go into Lorian board and actually make the actual movement work via button, via trigger. Now that one could be a little complicated as well. I'm gonna to try to keep this video short. Worst case scenario, maybe I'll put this as a two port video. So first things first, I have my camera here in the bottom right. Um, and I'm gonna go into my scene filters on the filters here. I already have a couple of move sources here. Um, I have one that moved me in the center because of my last video, I have one that moves me back to the side. So this one right here that moves me back into the corner um, is gonna be nice and useful as my unzoom if you if you wanna make, uh, make that work. So the way this works too is we're gonna make a new move source. We're going to call it move source Z so I know it's my zoom. And then we need to select our mid cam and whatever transform, when we hit transform, it's gonna get that transform. So I'm gonna make this as big as I can and as zoomed as I can. And I'm hoping that I can get this transform quick for us and then I'll, I'll move things back so you can still see all the buttons. Something like that will be fine. And then I'm going to get this transform. Now I wanna make sure you can kind of still see that. That's why I'm off on the side, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to move this camera down real fast so it doesn't take up all the OBS. So this one will be my unzoom and this one will be my, my zoom. So it's important a couple things on there that we do is uh, your delays. I keep mine instantly and it's fine. The duration, my recommendation for a zoom is to go, go bigger, uh, maybe um, a second plus. So we have a one and a third seconds here underneath the duration. Easing, I like easing in and out. Um, you can play with these, that's the whole point. Curve, we can do a little bit of curve. Um, these are the uh, the way it moves. And I just ex discovered that how fun elastic is. Um, you have bounce and all this other stuff, but I'm really liking the elastic function, especially for a zoom. It just feels like it gives a little bit of oomph to it. And that's what we used on the first screen. So I'm gonna keep it with elastic. My start trigger is going to be set to um, enable when the eye icon is in front of the filter. And that's this eye icon, eye icon right here. So when this thing, the filter's turned on, then it gets nice and big. It won't work anything when I go small, but then when this one gets turned back on, it's gonna go back to it. So now we can use this as a filter manipulation in Lorian board and uh, use it with a single button press instead of having to use the star button. And that's just amazing. So play with these as far as durations and curves and all these others so you can kind of get a feel for it and then once you really know, um, have a feel for what you would like we're going to go into Lorian board and show you how to set it up with a couple button presses all right Lorian board 
Love this tool. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I can't stress this enough. You can use this as a, a, a bot. You can use this as, um, you can use this as a million things. I, I can't stress it enough. We did the, our tutorial the other day with a round of world sub alert. We're gonna kind of use this as a, a, a zoom button thing. And I'm just going to use this open space right here. We're gonna create a couple of buttons. We're gonna have one button for unzoom and one button for zoom, okay? Um, let's go ahead and change the text on this. We'll call this the zoom and we'll call this the change text. We'll call it the unzoom and you can move things around, call it whatever, color it, whatever. Um, uh, what we're really concerned with is the command. So underneath zoom edit command, I'm going to do a new command. The one that we're looking for is change visibility, filter visibility, filter change visibility. Source name is going to be the scene that you're manipulating. So for me, it's like my recording screen. So if I go all the way down to my R's, I make sure it's exactly the same scene that you're manipulating, whatever your scene name is. Filter name, that is the, the name of the filter that we populated. And remember, we named it Z. So we know that that is our zoom. We need to make this guy true. And then we're gonna do one more. You can actually copy and duplicate this guy by pasting that and then it's the same scene, but we need to take that other source, uh, which is called move source, that's my unzoom, and we're gonna make that false, okay? And it's almost gonna work like a switch, okay? We'll hit that, uh, we'll actually copy these, because why not, make this function easier. We'll hit done. We're gonna go into this unzoom, and we'll edit commands, and we'll paste these, and then we're just gonna change these to false and change this to true, so we're flipping them okay now if we hit done and we actually go into our stream deck itself i think we'll turn them both off just in case i hit the other button that if we hit zoom you can see i got really big close this and i can bring up the board again if i hit unzoom i get really small Zoom, unzoom. And that was a little hard to see because the stream deck is right in front of it. But I can either have this on my other screen or guess what, Lorian board's so awesome, you can set up as a stream deck on your phone. I can't get enough of this tool. Oh my gosh, why has this not been out since day one? This is amazing. <laughs> All right, one more step. We're gonna show you how to set this up as a, a trigger. So we'll go back into the Lorian board. And I'm, I like the two buttons the way it is, but I'm going to take uh, the zoom button and make it a, a series command. All right, so what I wanna do is go underneath zoom. I'm gonna copy this button and I'm gonna paste it and we'll call this zoom chat or something. And so my purpose for this one is to have chat give control to my zoom button and I'll give them like a a five second window. So I'm gonna go back into commands. I'm gonna copy this guy, I'm gonna paste it. And the, 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 the commands I'm gonna flip after, let's give them like 10 seconds. Now well, let's do it five seconds for the purpose of this. So 5,000 milliseconds. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna to toggle the source off and on and retoggle the other source after five seconds. And then I'm gonna go into Zoom chat and I'm gonna give it a trigger. I don't know what kind of trigger you guys wanna do, but let's do a channel point trigger. So I'm gonna to go to underneath Twitch triggers, new Twitch trigger. Let's do point uh, redeem. The redeem name is gonna be Zoom. We'll hit done. I need to go into my, my personal Twitch and under the creator dashboard, if you go to the top left, there is a community section. And we're going to do a channel points and we're gonna manage rewards and we're gonna make a new button. It's important that you know exactly how you spelled that, zoom. We can give it a, a description. Yo, five second cam zoom, something like that. I'm not gonna require them in their text, give them a little bit of amount. We'll say costs 500 points, whatever. 
you can give it an image if you want. We're gonna create that. And now all of a sudden underneath here, we have a channel point redemption that costs 500 points. That's called Zoom. Boring board is listening to us so it knows when we redeem it. I'm gonna go back to my channel. Um, in order for this to update, I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna go back into my board and this is a lot going on in one spot, I know. So with Loring board up and my my uh, my actual OBS up, I could, should be able to test this because I don't actually know if I scripted it right. So I'm just gonna hit the zoom chat button. All right, I zoom, give it like five seconds or so. You can see it timing and I unzoom, okay? And then we gave it that Twitch trigger. So now we're gonna go into our chat chat and go into your chat. So chat right there. I'm gonna kind of mute this so you guys don't hear a nice little ad. I was trying to give you enough space so you can see this. And then down here where your, your channel point redemptions are, I'm gonna find that zoom button, uh, zoom, and I'm gonna redeem it. And there it goes, nice and big, about five seconds, goes right back down. So now chat has control of my zoom cam. I can't stress this enough. This is amazing stuff. If you love the video, like it, sub to the channel. I'll see you glitches next time. We have more stuff coming. Oh, I didn't I didn't reflect in time. This guy that got me captured before? Come on.